So we bought this chair second hand. Uh, it's part of a dining room chair set. And uh, the previous owners let their dog go to town on this. Uh, it wasn't this guy. He didn't do it. You're off the hook. No worries. We're going to go ahead and fix this today. There are little screws inside of here. Uh, so we'll just get a Phillips head screwdriver and undo that and make ourselves a new piece. So we just removed the two screws and pulled it out. This could be a little more complicated than I thought it was going to be, but um, we're still going to give it our best shot. <laughs> this is, look at that thing. <sighs> All right. So we're going to figure this out slowly, but surely we'll, we'll get her done. What I have here is a piece of, uh, I believe it was originally like off of a pallet. Um, I have no idea what species of wood it is. I've used it uh, various times, trying to figure out the correct stain here. And it looks like it's going to be amber shellac. Two or three co coats, and that'll get us looking pretty close to what we need to. So, for starters, all I'm going to do is lay this on here. And it looks like if I lay it on there like that, it's awfully close to the thickness I need already. So we've cut out the stock. Uh, it's roughly the same length and size as uh, the one we need to replace. We'll use this uh, to grab the angles uh, that we need for all of our compound cuts. And uh, maybe we'll put this over the top of it like that. Kind of get an idea of roughly where it should be. And then uh, what we'll do is when we cut out the shoulders uh, for these tendons, I'm going to leave a, a little bit of a gap and then we'll slowly tear it down uh, with the chisel to the to the size we need. At least that's the plan. We'll see if it works. Uh, so, so from here on in, it's going to be fast forward. And hopefully you'll be able to see what's going on here. shoulder cuts here, 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 and here. saw on this.
let's go try our first fit up. All right. Up here, our tenon is too long, and there's a bit of a gap, so we'll, we'll have to trim down the tenon a little bit. Uh, the angles are looking pretty good, so let's trim down that tenon and come right back. We're coming into contact here before this portion does, so we're going to need to trim back a little bit. along this side here. All right, now for the, the stomach clenching part. Um, we got our Craig jig here for pocket holes. We got a reference piece here, and we're gonna make sure we put these pocket holes on the correct side. Um, the plan is to just put this next to it, raise our bit up until we're happy with where it's going to come out. I think it's going to come out just a hair too close uh, to this edge here. So let's raise the whole thing up just a bit. Yeah, I like that better. Yeah, we'll set that to stop Stay right there. That way she's still biting into the meat of the, of the thicker cross section. Yeah, that looks good to me. Yeah, I think we can live with that. There it is, all finished. Not too bad if I do say so myself. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me in the garage. If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.